I think it's awesome that I come in here to check out an Igneous song and then find out that the song and this work that they're putting out is about an amazing person from Ukraine that I don't think anybody knows about. And thanks to this band, if you hear this song and see this video and hear read about this woman, you're never going to forget. That's amazing. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Old School Nerd. Welcome in. We're doing a double Napalm Records Monday. This is the second reaction I'm doing to Ignea. This one's called Nomad's Luck. Now this one came out just a, just about two weeks ago and um, we did um, the first Ignea reaction I've ever done earlier today. Kind of got into it. They're a band from the Ukraine. Um, they put out some music uh, after COVID, right before the invasion. A whole bunch of stuff's been going on, and um, uh, but they've persevered. And now they have new music. This one's called Nomad's Luck it's from Napalm Records on Napalm. It's Monday. I'm looking forward to this one. The last one was a trip. You had those uh, militant guys with the pitchforks and the scythes, and she was wearing some kind of flowy silk hooded gown thing with what looked to be draped chain metal kind of look to it. An aggressive song, a dark, eerily... Um, uh, seductive song that pulled you in but kind of made you wary no idea what this one's going to be about but we're going to check it out right now um this is uh ignia uh nomad's luck part two on uh napalm monday I <laughs> i'll have all their information in the description please check it out a sitar nice Well, I thought the most uh, dangerous looking thing so far was the makeup on her eyes. It was like very like, and then I saw that key tar and went, oh, oh. yeah, that key tar is, yeah, here we go. It's crazy. Her tone is, okay, it, it's very similar to Tatiana. Both amazing harsh vocals. And they have this ability to do a very light, seductive, it's sexy, it's alluring, it's comforting. But they're dangerous women. Come on, really? I mean, I don't trust it. I, 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 they scare me. They scare me in the best way possible. I'm just saying. Uh, by the way, I am doing this reaction live on Twitch the Tuesday before you guys are seeing it. Um, I'm filming this on February 21st, live on Twitch TV slash Old School Nerd. And luckily, because I'm doing it live on Twitch, all of my amazing community members, all of you, share with me information about the band that I may not know. Like, I did not know that the new album is about a photographer, a female photographer from Ukraine, who's like, who changed the way photography was really done for her time. Her name was Sofia Yabloska. I, I don't, I don't, I, now, now that I've see the, you see these images on this reaction, like on the video, they're showing photographs, older photographs. Apparently her type of photography was kind of groundbreaking for its time. And to honor her as fellow Ukrainians, I think it's kind of cool. You know, I mean, we, we do, you see all these different, um, in the United States, we have like country songs and rock songs, and sometimes it's blues and jazz and hip hop. 
different musical genres, sometimes you'll see those tribute songs to, to great people of the past. You see it. But what if you're from Ukraine? You, you find those Ukrainians that are, do groundbreaking work, and apparently this is one of those people. Her name was Sofia Yablonska. She was a female photographer from Ukraine, and apparently a lot of this album, if not all of this album from Ignea, is stories from her about her life and stuff. And that's cool. Paying homage to the past, man. That's a great, it's always great storytelling. Let's keep it going. So this is what's really cool. You see the fan, the rice fan she's swinging. Apparently this, this whole, this whole thing is about this photographer, right? Uh, Sophia and, um, it's, uh, and Sophia, uh, Yablonska was born in the early 1900s and she died in 1971, I believe. And she was born in Ukraine. She moved to Paris, France and fell in love with photography and travel. And she was one of the first female photographer, uh, journalistic cinematographers. You know, you hear about these journalist photographers that travel the world and take pictures of historical events and things that people don't know of. Well, apparently in the 1930s, she went to Morocco. So when you hear that Moroccan style beat and that sitar, it's a tribute to her time in Morocco that she spent with the Moroccan culture and taking photographs and falling in love with the culture. And apparently her photographs shed a light on the Moroccan culture and people that didn't exist before her time. Like everyone had a thought of what Morocco was and everyone thought, oh, Casablanca, and that was it. No, apparently her work brought Moroccan culture to Europe and to the United States through her work. Then afterwards, she moved to China. So when you see uh, the fan here and different, uh, you hear this, the, um, the, the, the koto and different uh, Chinese and Asian sounds in the music now, it's because of her time spent in China where, where she met her husband and they had their children. And, and then she passed away. She moved back to France and passed away. All this stuff I'm finding out right now because I'm watching my chat and my chat's like, oh my God, I love this band and I love the story of this photographer this album is about. And I'm like, Pfft. so as awesome as the band is, as great as the vocals are and the sound of the song, and I'm listening to all these cultural different, I mean, come on, the sounds of Morocco are not from the Ukraine. The sounds of China in the music is not from Ukraine, but this band is seamlessly developing it because it was part of a hero of Ukraine's culture and their work. So it's reflective and this was really good, man. Let's, let's finish it out. This is tripping me out now. I'm a fan of history, so this is really freaking me out and I'm digging it. Let's get into this.
Okay, that's Ignea, okay? And this is this is crazy, okay? So I come into this reaction and I'm thinking, okay, it's some metal song from a band from Ukraine and well that's cool, you know? And that's all you know. And then you find out that the song and the album is about an amazing woman from the early 20th century who changed culture through amazing cinema, uh, through journalistic cinematography, her being one of the first women to do it. And this Ukrainian band is paying homage to an amazing woman from Ukraine that changed the public's opinion of the cultures of Southeast Asia and Western Africa. This is cool. This is really, really cool. Nomad's Luck from Ignea. That that's awesome, man. I mean, so many bands they 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 do. Uh, this is like this is almost sabotonish, right? It's almost like some saboton stuff. Like right? they just they're giving an insight into you know maybe not a war hero, but if you think about it, back in the early twentieth century, the technology allowed people to take photographs easier and get that out to the masses, things like National Geographic and World Review and, and David Attenborough's work in the UK and how these cinematographers in the early 20th century really revealed the world to the world. Because a lot of us only had what was in our school books and we didn't know a lot. This is all before TV. So, yeah. So, Sophia... Yeah, so, okay. Sophia Yablonska. One of, a, one of the true heroes of the Ukrainian history. An amazing female journalistic cinematographer from the early 20th century. And Ignea made a song about her. Or, or actually a whole album, apparently. That's amazing. I think it's awesome that I come in here to check out an Ignea song and then find out that the song and this work that they're putting out is about an amazing person from Ukraine that I don't think anybody knows about. And thanks to this band, if you hear this song and see this video and hear read about this woman, you're never going to forget. That's amazing. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. My name is Old School Nerd. And with that, that's the second part of our Double Ignea Napalm Monday. And I appreciate all your help. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.